walk the avenue and hope I'll run into the welcome sight of you coming my way. I stop just across from your door, but you're never home anymore. So I'm back to my room, and there in the gloom, I cry tears of goodbye. So back to my room, and there in the gloom, I cry tears of goodbye. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis, and I'm Tavis. As you can tell, I'm in a different space. I'm in my classroom, and um, my classroom is not set up the way I really want it to be because I've just been Zooming with kids. We've been on the computer, so I have a little free time and I decided to go ahead and use my Zoom feature to record a video for all of you. And this video is dedicated to Frank Sinatra. I have been waiting a long time to do this. Um, the records that I have are my favorite Frank Sinatra albums, actually because they are the only ones that I own at the present moment. <laughs> so. If you have any Frank Sinatra albums that you adore and that you would like to recommend to me, let me know because I am just, I think the older I've become, the more infatuated I have become with Frank Sinatra, his style of singing, the music that he would sing, um, the class that he showcased during his performances, um, don't get me wrong. I think he was a gangster in many ways. I mean, people have said that he was, um, I think there's been some word that he's, he was bipolar. He was either very loving and loved you very much, or he hated your guts. So, um, in other words, if he was your friend, he was your friend to the end. And if he was your enemy, you better watch out. So that's what I've heard. But with regard to his music and his singing style, I think it's just fantastic. Um, so let me get started, okay? I don't wanna take too long because I have a class coming up soon. So it's funny in between classes, I, um, I've been listening to his music on one of my cheap record players here on my, um, on my teacher's desk, it sounds perfect to me. You know, it's just very nostalgic. But this one, this is called My Way. My Way, it features the songs, um, Watch What Happens, Didn't We, Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Frank, I, I don't think I've ever heard her heard him sing so soulfully. He, I don't know what happened during this session, but he just really adds a little bit of umph to that recording. He does, yesterday, all our troubles seem so far away. He does that on here. He does My Way, I think one of his classic live um, performances. A Day in the Life of a Fool. I mean, I recorded a Day in the Life of a Fool on one of my albums, and I used some of his arrangements or some of his chord progressions in my recording because it was so 
it was just dead on perfect for me. For once in my life, Mrs. Robinson, I mean, this is a, you know, all of them are classics. Anything from Frank Sinatra is a classic. And um, amazingly, you know, in many of his photos, he always has a cigarette in his hand and, you know, he was a gangster. <laughs> And I have that album on my turntable. Pardon how I hold the vinyl, everyone. I love the albums in which it has his likeness on the label. I love that. And pardon that, pardon if the record is a little dirty, but you know, that's all right with me. I didn't have time to clean it, but it still sounds good to me. This is a VG Plus album. It costs ten dollars. <laughs> um, it has the original inners. Well, if that's what you call original inner, I'll accept it. It was. It's still a great album to me. Then we have. Um, then I have Frank Sinatra, Cole, my Cole Porter. So he has songs on here that are. Uh, written by Cole Porter. Um, he has Anything Goes, I Love You, I Get a Kick Out of You, Night and Day, You Are the One. Just classic standards, you know? And it was just one of those things, one of those careless flings. I think that's the, I think those are the lyrics. From this moment on, you and me, dear. Just good music, my God. Just, I, you know what? If it wasn't for this COVID thing, I don't even know what I'm looking at because, okay, I'm looking at you, here I am. You all know I'm a singer as well as a music teacher. So when I hear these standards, it makes me wanna get back out there and sing. But this COVID-19 thing, you know, we. we we're bound, we're homebound. So maybe on my Facebook page, I'll be doing some live singing, doing some jazz standards, focusing on Frank Sinatra, music that he recorded during his lifetime. Who knows, who knows? I think I need to put on a tie and maybe have a little cigarette in my hand. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. But this is an awesome record. Oh man, look at that face, old blue eyes. Man, what a life he's, what a life he lived. Everyone, I think this is my favorite Frank Sinatra album. Now, it is his collaboration with Antonio Carlos Jobim. To me, this is my favorite Frank Sinatra album. Now, until I hear something else that's going to really stick with me, first of all, I love Jobim. I love the music that he wrote. Um, I love the melodies. Um, I love his singing, you know, just very straightforward. Um, but in my concerts, I did a lot of Joe Bean music. So to hear Frank Sinatra do it and to hear them sing duets and to know that uh, Joe Bean was actively involved in the recording sessions. And, and look at this picture in the back here. There's Joe Beam and there's Frank and there's that cigarette. You know, he always had a cigarette in his hand, which makes me wonder, I mean, did the cigarette help his voice? Even in this, he's, 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 he has a cigarette right there. I mean, the man loved his cigarettes, wow. But um, on here is the girl from Ipanema, tall and tan and young and lovely. The girl from Ipanema goes walking and when she passes, each one she passes goes, ah. I mean, oh man, that's just classic stuff. This is by far my favorite Frank Sinatra album ever. On here he's called Francis Albert Sinatra. He used his legal name, if you will. So, I got this on Amazon and it's 180 gram. It's the 50th anniversary edition. Again, it has his likeness on the label. 
just pure perfection in my opinion. I just love this record. I love it immensely. So much, so much. Now everyone, this particular Frank Sinatra album, um, this is a Japan issue, a 1985 Japan issue. And it is, um, I believe it's a compilation. It doesn't say here. Let me check and see here. It has this original inserts here. Wow, look at that. In Japanese. I got this here um, at um, Mills Records here in Kansas City. And one thing I can say about Japanese pressings, they're just, they're perfect to me. I mean, the, this is just, and this was only, this was $13. There are 10 songs on each side. Look at that. And this is a very great high quality sounding album from Japan. And usually, you know, if you have a uh, vinyl that has all these songs on it, you would expect the quality not to be so good since the grooves are so close together. Not the case with this. I mean, this, this is a beautiful sounding record. And um, I love the artwork on here. Am I, going, am I going in? Oh, I'll just leave it out for now. Okay, I'll put it back in later. But I love the artwork. There's that cigarette again. <laughs> and there's the back. It has um, the, the classics. The Autumn Leaves, All of Me, September Song, It's Only a Paper Moon, April in Paris, I Could Have Danced All Night, My Funny Valentine, Night and Day. Oh man, Pennies from Heaven, just classic. It is just, it's just simply called Frank Sinatra, a Japanese issue. As you can tell, they have it right here. Can you see that Japanese issue here? So I'm very proud of this record of Frank Sinatra. Then we have his collaboration with Count Basie. It might as well be Swing. I know many of you have this, I know you do. This is probably my second favorite Frank Sinatra album of all time, until I hear something better, okay? Uh, Fly Me to the Moon, Pure Perfection. And of course, it has arrangements of Quincy Jones. This album is a classic. This was only $5 and it says it's in VG minus. I would love to get a, um, a better copy, but until then, this will definitely do. But um, to hear Count Basie's piano riffs and his band, I mean, it's just, just classic stuff. Hello, Dolly. The best is yet to come and be, won't it be fine? Just, oh, I could literally tear up. In fact, I'm going to listen to this after I'm through with this video. So I'm going to put it right here. Yes, I've got to hear that. Then we have Frank Sinatra, um, September of My Years. What a somber album. Every song um, is themed around the fact of a man who is older and reminiscing about past loves and um, just thinking about his youth. And um, I, I just think that's a, a beautiful, beautiful album theme for Frank Sinatra at this time. The songs include September of My Years, How Old Am I, <laughs> Don't Wait Too Long, It Gets Lonely Early. I mean, just, just the titles alone are just like fascinating. This Is All I Ask. Last night when we were young, it was a very good year. Oh, it was a very good year. Hold on, I'm having a moment. Let me have a piece, let me have a piece. Let me have a drink of this Red Bull.
that song alone is worth the album. That song, I remember when I first heard that song, maybe seven years ago, I had gotten the CD and had it in my car. I got it from the library and I was on my way home listening to it and I began to weep because I had never heard that song before. And the message is just phenomenal. You know, he's thinking about when he was a teenager in his twenties and his thirties, he talks about the loves in his life and the, the things he went through and, oh man, that song is amazing. Whoever wrote that song, I mean, they don't write music like that anymore. Um, Hello Young Lovers, Once Upon a Time, just great titles. This is a wonderful album, just wonderful. September of my years. Now, this, this is a very upbeat record. This is the last one I want to show. Come Dance With Me. This is a classic as well, you know. Every song is upbeat, makes you feel good, makes you want to dance. Hence the title, you know. Um, it has songs like um, Something's Gotta Give, Just In Time, Dancing In The Dark, Too Close For Comfort, Day In, Day Out. Oh, just, oh man, I just love, look at that hat. I mean, I would buy another copy of this just to hang this in, not my room, but I would put it in my house. I would hang it up. Man, what a life, old blue eyes, man. Well, everybody, if you have a favorite Frank Sinatra album, please uh, put it in the comments below. I would be very anxious to hear what you like so that I can hopefully get it as well. But Frank Sinatra is, to me, the ultimate class act. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he even gave some tips on how his voice was maintained. I think he did a lot of swimming, which helped to expand his lungs to breathe and, and hold notes. I think I read that in a book somewhere when I was in college because someone told me that if I wanted to do a record or if I ever wanted to record, they wanted me to listen to Frank Sinatra. And that's exactly what I did when I did my, um, my last secular album called Love Confessions because I did Autumn Leaves and I did um, A Day in the Life of a Fool using Frank Sinatra's arrangements, but I kind of made it soulful still. And so just, you just can't go wrong with Frank. You can't go wrong with Frank. Again, please post in the comments below your favorite Frank Sinatra albums. And as always, with music, be inspired and stay inspired.